So guys, once again, if you can, please subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button on this video. And guys, also for the purposes of the algorithm, let's see if we can get this video to a thousand likes within the next 24 hours. I'd appreciate it. So guys, in this next news story, two men from Huddersfield have been jailed for life for murdering 20-year-old Javel Morgan after a terrifying fight broke out between two rival gangs. Deontay Crossfield and Jacob Doherty were today sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum sentence of 21 and 20 years respectively. Javel died in hospital after being stabbed five times with a samurai sword in Manchester last summer. It's believed that violence erupted at a street party in Moss Side following the Caribbean carnival in the early hours of Monday, August the 15th, 2022. During a seven-week trial at Manchester Crown Court, the jury were told that witness statements and a trawl of CCTV helped detectives track the killer's movements and identify them. Crossfield and Doherty's identities were then shared with West Yorkshire Police, who then deployed resources to Huddersfield to arrest the pair and bring them into custody. So just want to say rest in peace, Javel, and my condolences go out to your family. So it's believed that around 40,000 people attended the celebration. There was dancing, steel drums, there were parades, and it was a celebration. But, however, as soon as it turned midnight, it went crazy. CCTV footage has been released and it shows mass panic after a gun was fired. Moments before, a young man was stabbed to death and it was a miracle. No one else was caught in the crossfire. A witness who had attended with her family, she said she arrived, she had no idea she'd become a witness to murder. She said we were all drinking and enjoying ourselves and stuff like that. We just heard a little bit of a commotion and then I looked back and I saw lots of people running towards us. I said, oh my God, what's happened? I heard a couple of shots. To be honest, I never thought it was shots because sometimes they do tend to let off fireworks as well. It was her testimony at the subsequent murder trial which brought to mind gangland killings, which helped Moss Side gain an unwanted reputation of years gone by. But last summer, it was not young men who were from Manchester, but it was actually young men from Yorkshire. And these Yorkshiremen were from a place called Huddersfield. And as we know on this channel, I previously said, Huddersfield is one crazy place. So she said, when they clashed, this is what happened. She said, Doherty just took out a samurai sword. She said, I've never seen a sword like that before. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was shaking. I was in total shock. I was in total shock at what happened just in front of me. She said she saw Javel Morgan, a 20-year-old man from Huddersfield, lie dying on the floor. She said, I just started crying. It was the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. So Javel was a young lad. He was raised in West Yorkshire and he was caught in the middle of a rivalry and no motive has ever been put forward for the murder. The judge said that the killing had obvious gang overtones but highlighted a lack of clear evidence to assign any membership. He said he was attacked as the carnival continued past midnight with street parties and drinks being enjoyed. Javel was unarmed and holding a cup. The two rival groups became aware of each other and a deadly chain of events was set in motion. There was three young men who had travelled to Manchester with Javel Mikhail Buckner and Karmani Butler, they both had handguns and Harlan Richards had a sawn-off shotgun. At one point, caught on CCTV footage, Buckner pointed his gun at another man who was with the rival group. A friend of his struck out and caused his aim to move, the bullet missing the man and hitting the floor. And that's when pandemonium ensued as revellers desperately tried to get away. But in the chaos, two men ran into the face of danger. Jacob Doherty and Deontay Crossfield wanted their revenge. Both armed with weapons, Doherty a sword and Crossfield a knife, they chased down their rivals. Javel was the only one caught and paid with his life. He was stabbed five times and Doherty inflicted the fatal blow with a severe stab wound to his back using the sword. And the impact of that today was Doherty is going to be serving a minimum of 21 years in jail and Crossfield's going to be serving a minimum of 20. And with regards to the lads who had the guns, Buckner and Butler were convicted of attempting to murder a person there. And Harlan Richards, he was found not guilty of attempted murder, but guilty of possessing a firearm with the intent to endanger life. And as I said, they're going to be sentenced in July. 
So the senior investigating officer, Detective Chief Inspector Neil Higginson said, our thoughts remain with Javel's loved ones who have been devastated by his murder. This won't heal their broken hearts. I hope they find some closure in people being brought to justice. With assistance from West Yorkshire Police, officers from Greater Manchester Police and Major Incident Team completed fast-paced but thorough inquiries to identify Crossfield and Doherty so they could be put behind bars where violent killers belong. During an intricate search of the area, officers also recovered a knife which inflicted the fatal injuries on Javel, preventing it to use or injure other individuals. Caribbean Carnival is a key event where Great Manchester's communities come together to celebrate diversity. However, Great Manchester Police will not tolerate serious violent crime at this event or any other and officers will continue to work with partner agencies to keep people safe. DCI Marie Bulmner of Kirkley's District Police said, We welcome the sentencing of these Huddersfield men for their roles in what was a dreadful act of violence resulting in Javel's murder in Manchester last summer. The convicted males were identified participants in a violence and other related crime activity here in Huddersfield and them being taken off the streets is good news for the communities in Kirklees. Detectives from Kirklees programme position team worked very closely with our colleagues in Greater Manchester Police to assist their investigation in identifying and tracking down these men, including the arrest operations in Huddersfield. This investigation should serve as a stark reminder to criminals that police forces collaborate at the closest level to investigate cross-border crimes and ensure no opportunities are lost to bring guilty parties to justice. So guys, that's a new story coming from up north. Once again, I just want to say rest in peace, Javel, and my condolences go out to your family. And in another news story coming from London Ways, three men have been convicted of murdering a man in Westminster. Adnan Sally, who's 28, was attacked at around half six on Saturday the 11th of June 2022. A week prior, on the 3rd of June, he had received messages on Snapchat which alleged he was present during the stabbing of another man. An investigation by specialist crime detectives identified that Stephen Woods, Majid Kebier and Fadal Dabous were responsible for the attack on Adnan. Each had a role to play and knew all exactly where to go for the planned attack. The court heard that Adnan, whose picture has not been released, had been in contact with a man who had been stabbed on several occasions where it appears arrangements were made to meet in the Paddington area. The Woods, Kebri and Debus and the man were already at the location when Adnan arrived to meet them as they walked along Sale Place. As the group approached the cul-de-sac, Woods and Debus walked ahead and entered Junction Muse where CCTV captured the moment Debus passed Woods a knife. As Adnan entered the Muse, Woods produced the knife and swung it at him. Adnan attempted to run back to Sale Place but Woods caught up to him and launched an attack with Debus joining in. Kebri was sat on the wall at the end of the Muse and after watching the fight develop, he approached the melee, produced a knife and provided the fatal stab wound to Adnan's collarbone area. Just want to say rest in peace Adnan. I'm a condolences go out to your family. Adnan was eventually able to get away from his attackers and collapsed further along Sale Place. He was taken to hospital and doctors made numerous attempts to save his life but to no avail. He suffered catastrophic damage to his brain due to severe blood loss and he was in coma until he died on the 29th of November 2022. During an earlier appearance on the 8th of September 2022, Woods and Debus pleaded guilt to violent disorder and on the same days, Woods, Cabri and Debus each pleaded guilt to separate counts of having a bladed article, namely a knife. However, a 22-day trial which concluded last Friday at the Central Criminal Court, they were found guilty of murder. So, Stephen Woods, Majid Kebri and Fadal Debus, they're all going to be sentenced at the end of June. Detective Inspector Marcus Jones, who led the investigation, said, My thoughts are with Adnan's family. It cannot be easy to listen to how these three men planned the last moments of their loved one's life. I hope that their conviction can provide some comfort. So guys, these are a couple of stories coming from the streets of the UK. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.